Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 7 and another part of our career mode. Today we are taking part in the Pan American Championship. Really looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. So let's uh, get into the menu. Now that you've collected cars made by Ford and Chevy, the next step is to take uh, or tackle the Pan American Championship. You'll race on tracks in the USA as well as on Brazil's legendary Interlagos circuit. Aim to finish in the top three and come back here once you've managed it. All the best out there. So menu number 29, the Pan America's Championship. So uh, let's have a little look at what PP is recommended. We obviously have a 700 PP car um, at the moment. Uh, we have got the National A license, which is fine. Um, what's it recommended? 700. So maybe we do just use our, our Chevy that we were using before. Uh, and well, let's get into it. It's going to be really exciting. I can't wait for it. Leave a like if you do enjoy and get involved down in the comment section. Here we go around Blue Moon Bay. Six laps of this circuit. I believe this was the first ever track that we raced on in this game. I, I can't quite remember, but it, it was definitely one of the very first. So exciting to be back. 15 drivers in this championship. Let's see how we get on. There's the American red arrows there. Off they go. Oof. Little incident straight away. Just didn't have the the stopping power of the car there. But um, this is going to be really, really interesting. I have no idea what to expect, particularly. Of course, into Lagos is, is going to be really fun. We can't even take these corners flat out. We're that fast now. I mean, when we were doing this in the Renault Clio all that time ago, we were certainly managing it then, but... Do actually need to break into some of these corners. So up to ninth as it stands. We'd love to win all three races, of course. It's Felix. Oh, he's a very, very good driver. Up down the inside, that's very nice. We've got Tapai there as well. Oh, a little bit of a nudge through there and it, it's not clean racing at the moment wow we nearly lost it there but we are still absolutely smashing it as we come through a 48 four we've got four laps to go just a snap of oversteer we didn't trust ourselves to hold it and very very lucky I tell you what got a massive shock through me back there um, <laughs> obviously psychological but yeah that was I mean the controller felt the impact of that crash yeah, I tried to lift off the throttle but that was even worse that's going to be another lap done. 
0.6 seconds slower that time. Three laps to go. That's nice and smooth. Yeah, oh, we're through. It's going to be up to fourth now, past the Ford. Uh, and past the Ford GT40. Nice wide outside line. Little drop of the throttle and hold it through, and that was awesome. A little bit slower in, faster through. Oh! Oh, we held it! We held it! Oh, that was close, though. That was super close, but that is our best lap time so far. Now we got Fragger up ahead. Portilla as well. But this could be our time to move past. And that is pretty nice. Little drop of the gears and through we go. We go early in. Fast through, just don't lose it. And we don't, but we have got Fragger and Portilla looking at us here. They are very, very close, within two tenths of a second. Just about make it through, that's gorgeous. Now we're starting to build a gap. So we should win this race, but it's uh, been very, very tough. We know that we can't afford to mess up this final corner. Nice and smooth, but the acceleration almost took us away. But that's the cleanest we've been through there. This should be the fastest lap as we come up to the line. And it is indeed a fastest lap. It is a victory. And that was uh, really, really awesome. And it, it's great driving these really fast cars now. And uh, we get ourselves a nice 35k in the bank there. Another 12.5 miles on the daily workout, which is good. So let's uh, move to the next race. Race 2. I think this is a D Daytona. Yep, yeah, but it's not the... Um, the oval version, it's the, the racetrack version. Five laps of it. So let's get straight into the action. So we are away. Should make impact immediately we know this truck very well We've driven this recently so shouldn't be caught out by any great big surprises so 24 and a half seconds is the gap to the leader that's what we've got to make up around here On the outside, take a nice wide line into it. Oh, very nice, very nice. And now up to 12. Whoo! That's the Camaro. Forgot that there was the, the chicane. Oh, well, that stopped us in our tracks, hasn't it? Never mind. Oh, so annoying. But completely my fault. Still 
still should have the pace to really close in on these guys. The straight line speed of this car is, is insane. So on lap one, a 159.5. way too hot into the first corner yeah that weren't good so I'm going to have to massively improve on how we've driven so far around here. We want any chance whatsoever of uh, getting back into this race. We've spent pretty much a lap getting back to where we were. So it's as if we've just lost a lap of this race going to be potentially hugely significant. We'll have to find out. We're coming up to the line now. Don't forget there's a chicane. Nice and early. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. That's all right. Round we round we come. Up the seventh now. It's two laps done. Oh, a little bit of a nudge through there. Get this car slowed right down. Boy, we just about do. We lost it through there, though. Oh, and there you go. Feel it. Run a little bit wide there. Now we've got Wilk ahead of us, then Rodriguez. Portilla in third at the moment, Fraga leading the way. 11.6 yeah, behind Fraga, which is quite a lot to make up in two laps. I think we are very much capable of it though. Go three seconds quicker on this lap than our previous best. We are actually massively quicker than these guys in a straight line. Nice. Straight past the Ford Mustang. Nice and early here so that we can glide it into the corners. says <laughs> but that has uh, perhaps cost us this race I don't know if we can pull this back now so around the final corner across the line it's uh, again slow Cannot get that corner right. No matter what I try, it's weird because we are managing it the previous time I raced around here, last episode, but it's really struggling this time. There you go again, a little bit wide, but once again, find a little bit of tarmac, which is lucky. But we're going to absolutely have to nail this lap in the next lap if we want to win this. And of course we do, because 
going into Interlagos, we don't want to have to beat home favourite Fraga to win the championship. And it won't necessarily even be in our hands if we finish as low as fifth. So it is really important now that we make no more mistakes. Bank, we go. See the guys up ahead. That'll do. So it's his first corner where we really need to pull it off now. Catching up to the top three. We are through nicely. And we might even be leading the way. Again, just far too wide. And the tyre barrier does not help. But yeah, for some reason, just can't get that corner right today. But uh, we are now into pure darkness. I don't think we've uh, raced in, in this uh, sort of lighting before. Yeah, this car is going to be battered as anything. Apparently that's four tenths quicker than our last run through there, which I find just so hard to believe, but we're back down to fifth here. really relying on our straight line speed to bring us back into this. But it's pitch black out there. It's, it didn't start like this. But here we go. Straight line speed is going to take over massively here. We can just accelerate so much more. And there's Fragger. And we are going to make the move and we are through. So as long as we don't make any massive mistake now, we should be alright, because this corner, weirdly, we've managed alright today. Even though, last time out, that was our struggle corner. But here we come, we're going to come up to the line, it could be a faster slap as well, which would be really, really good. I don't know if we're going to get penalised at all, I have no idea, but here we come, around the final corner of this Daytona International race and we finish in first and that is huge for the championship another 35k in the bank as well 24 points the lead or 24 points in the bag I should say not the lead um, as we head over 100 miles for the day which is good so on to the next race, and this is in Ilargos, five laps around it, and we know this circuit incredibly well. And we're usually pretty good at it on the F1 games, but uh, that form means absolutely nothing today. So here we go. Ready. For this championship finale, can we win it, or will we come up short? Here we go. Five laps of in Ilargos. Round. Is there going to be uh, a DRS line? Yeah, there it is. DRS is open. Hey, hey, and we are through very, very nicely. Only joking. I know some people out there will, will be saying, You can't get DRS in these cars. Well, I know that. I'm not stupid. to 11th and you know you can 
you can tell when when you know a circuit inside out just how much better we do on it and maybe you know it shows I'm not an absolutely awful driver I know some people probably think I am but um, I'd like to think I'm, I'm not too bad put down the inside here This is a, a lovely first lap actually of Interlagos. Ninth place as it stands, 12.2 seconds behind the leaders. Whoa, a little drift through there. Now, can we get past Felix? Yes, we can. But yeah, no gravel trap there, interestingly. Yeah, we, we didn't break anywhere near early enough. Got to pie. Another 150 mark. Go massively wide there. Stay on the tarmac bit. That's alright. to win all three races that would be a very good achievement but I can't believe how OP this car is it is only seven better than the recommended PP but we are absolutely smashing everybody and this is on hard difficulty as well so other than uh, uh, putting some uh, manual gears on and Whatever. I don't really know what else we could be doing to make this more difficult. But there's Solace and Fragger around his home circuit. When we go around the outside of both of them by lap three. We are already in a position where it's probably impossible to lose although we go very very wide there we're gonna come back onto the circuit not, not corner cut this time I would like to try and get it into the 130s so that would be quite nice 139 if I can get into that pretty good bit wide there but all right so let's just enjoy ourselves in this championship now got two laps after this to try and go even faster I have a feeling we're going to need the international licenses soon. Might even be a today job trying to get our international B license. So, what's this lap time going to be? See as we come up to the line to 141.3, I think we can do better than that. It's a lovely first corner, you know. Well, let's see what they say about. That first sector. Oh wow wow one point two seconds quicker. It's quite the achievement. So one point two would take us to a 
140 flat. Oh, a little bit wide. Oh, I don't think we're going to do it now. We've gone too wide. Might not even be a faster slap, this one. A very poor lap. But you can see how much time we could gain on this if we absolutely nail it. So here we go. This has got to be the time now on this final lap of this championship. Oh, we nearly lost it there. Up to the line. Tenth slower, so another first corner, that's not bad. On 1.2, we were quicker last time, although that's gonna cost us a little bit down this straight, I think. One seconds quick hit. Well, this is quite nice. Let's stay nice and tight that time. Okay. Right, let's see. There we go. 1.3 seconds, I think. We can get into the 39s here. I think we can do it. Just got to be perfect around this final little section. And we come up to the line, we're going to win the championship, win the race. Is it going to be in the 39s? Yes, it is. A 139.8 to finish it. Very, very nice in that car. Absolutely smashing it. And, uh, well, we, we dominated that race. 35,000 in the kitty. I had no idea how much we're going to win for getting the, the championship in general. 70,000! Wow, there you go, and uh, we are massively heading up in the world, and there's uh, some Porsches that are heading our way. Let's go down the middle. Ooh, and it's a Porsche. Uh, 911 GT3, 996, uh, 2001 model. So it looks like we are going to get some Porsches in the world in the next episode, and, uh, well, or in the next menu, I should say. So level 15 collector level now and that was a that was a really good race really enjoyed that uh, hopefully you are enjoying the the steady improvements of us I think but um, yeah, let's head back to Luca now let's see how he's doing Excellent work, you won the Pan America Championship. I've also got your reward ready for you. So we get a four-star roulette ticket, and uh, we want to upgrade the Porsche. Okay. Oh, and we unlock Spa. So tune to a PP of 600 to 650. I was thinking of having you compete in the Porsche Cup. Cars with a PP of up to 650 are allowed to enter, so you'll find it pretty tough going in a normal Porsche. As such, I suggest you head over to the tuning shop and upgrade your car so it's 600 or more. Don't forget, though, that your PP can't accept, exceed 650 or you won't be allowed to enter. If your Porsche does have a PP of over 650, try fitting tuning parts. That will decrease it or adjust the settings a little. For example, using a power restrictor will limit your engine output and lower your PP. You could also lower your tyre grade or add weight with a ballast. It's up to you. For this many, I'd like you to prepare that of around 650 okay cool 
I accidentally skipped the, the little cutscene there. I do apologise. Uh, so let's head and look at what reward we get for our ticket. Four star roulette ticket, of course. I don't know what that Citroen thing is. But we're gonna get the little... Oi! We got the car! Awesome! So that is a Lexus 640. Very nice. That's a very cool car. Cool. We got ourselves a racing car now. Um, so let's head to the car collection. We know that we've now we've got a Porsche, I think. Germans, uh, yeah, it's a German company. Um, so let's change the car to our Porsche. Where is it? What's it sorted by? Date acquired. There we go. I'll go for that. Um, it's a, not a very nice colour, to be honest. So we need to get it over 600, don't we? So let's get a weight reduction in there. Um, soft tyres are usually the way I go with it. Yeah. And then we probably want a sports computer in there. Get that in there. Yeah. And then pretty much all the way. Take us over 650. What I want is one more thing, just to get it 649 ish. There you go. I'll do nice. Yeah. Cool, right. I think, do we want to get that coloured? Paint colour. For a matter, we haven't had many, uh, any matte cars yet, have we? Ooh. Quite like that one. There we are, so we'll head out. I, s I swear we've just done it, haven't we? Did we fit it? So we purchased it. Can I fit it? Ah, what was that? Can be used in the livery editor, okay. Right, come on. Is a special colours? Yeah, that one. Nice. And then our wheels. Let's make them a... Do we want black? No, I think we want something bright. Red's quite nice. Yeah, that looks awesome. I like that. And save it. Just call it P. I really can't be bothered to do much more than that. So let's uh, close the the design. I think we should be all sorted now. And we're going to go in the Porsche Cup. Oops. Well, I think we are anyway. I see you've got your hands on a Porsche with over 600p. Be aware that if its PP increases to over 650, it won't be eligible to enter the Porsche Cup. If that happens, you can reduce its PP. Fair enough. Are you ready? The Porsche Cup awaits. We've got the Circuit de Spa Francochamps. And now we are heading to menu 31. 
the Porsche 911. Um, so we will unlock the circuit to uh, San Croy and of course we'll get the three uh, Porsches in there. I'm sure you'll have heard plenty about Porsche and one of the uh, Germany's and the world's most celebrated sports car manufacturers. These days the brand's almost synonymous with the legendary 911 series and that's what I'd like you to collect next. You can win them by finishing in the top three in the Porsche Cup. They will set, acquire three different 911 models and bring them here for me to admire. Cool! Right, let's head off then and see what we can pull off on the world circuits. Heading to Europe, we've got Spa, Nürburgring, that's going to be awesome. Right, let's enter it then. Here we go. Yeah, our car looks awesome, I love that. Right, let's see how good we are around here then. 16 competitors here. Got five laps of this circuit. We might not finish them all in this episode, especially if we're doing five laps of spa. That's uh, going to be very long. So we might just do this first race today, depending on how we get on. It's a little bit skittish on the exit. Felt lovely through there though. Yeah, nearly lost it through that corner there. Oh no. Just couldn't keep it in a straight line. It is very, very skish on those corners. And now we come. Don't think we're going to be anywhere near the victory. This time around, but uh, we will see. Pretty long laps, so. certainly doesn't like those corners. But here we come, up to the start of lap two. So we're into the top ten we go now. 31 seconds behind the leaders. No idea how much we've got on the straights over them. That was a horrible corner. Need to break much earlier. This is nice. Here we go. Cool. So twenty eight seconds now.
It's starting to feel good on the circuit. Certainly not making as many mistakes as we were. Another big snap just yet. Let's see, seven and a half seconds quicker this lap than we were over here on the last lap. the start finish line we come and it's a uh, 2.23 and that's a blue lap time so that's personal best but not fastest interestingly enough but that uh, massively distracted me <laughs> don't know what what is happening here whoa 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 Seemed to massively lag for a second there. I've not had that at all with the game, so apologies about that. Now the sound seems out of sync, which is really, really annoying. So we'll get to the end of this race, and I think we'll finish it off after that and give the game a bit of a rest. I've been pushing it intensely. I can't believe how much you drive through the sound of the car. But it's about a second up at the moment, which is really, really bizarre. Anyway, up the sixth as it stands. We're massively off Carraza, though. 28 seconds. our best time. So far off. So we should be able to get up to fourth here. guys six seconds up the road and we can see him there Taking it a little bit easier. One second quicker. But uh, the guy in first is still 27 seconds ahead of us here. It's 
sort of personal best through there, but it's like a faster slap at the moment. And for probably the first time ever, we are not the fastest driver out there, which is just crazy. But we're up into third, so we should unlock the car now. But we've got a lap to go. Let's see how much time we can pull back here, but I don't think we're going to get anywhere near second or first. And there you go, we put in a 122, or a 222, sorry. But that is still massively off. The 221.4, which uh, Carrazza has managed to put in, so he's fast out there. You can see second place. Second place, we might manage to go and get. one second quicker through that section of the track than anybody. Now we're starting to nail the corners a bit. That was good. Six seconds behind. Wow, 3.3 seconds quicker now. So I'm really starting to find some performance from somewhere. I think we can get him here. Got one final corner. We hadn't made those massive mistakes earlier on. Could we have done it? Who knows? But we're going to come up to the line. We're going to finish second and we are going to get past this lap. So in the end, we do manage it with a 216. We hooked everything up in that final lap, but uh, only second. Only second. Graza well ahead. There you go, a nice 21k into the bank. Nice. And now we're level 16, which is awesome. We get ourselves a helmet. Which is good. Ooh, well, um, I think, you know, just just because of uh, the, the sound issues or whatever with the game, I am going to end the episode off there. We will unlock the other two uh, Porsche cars tomorrow, so looking forward to that. Uh, so if you have enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more uh, Gran Turismo content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.